Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And we have a very special guest. Last time she's going to be with us for the week, but we are never at a loss when we have Melody <laughs> Pang here. Hi, everybody. I'm Googling LeBron James' I Love Haters hat, and I can't find it. Are you, are you serious? Lying? Are you I lying see, about no. This? Why would I lie about this? I swear to <laughs> myself. I don't care if LeBron wore the hat and get the hat because LeBron wore it. <laughs> It's not the reason I got it. I got it because I was like, yes, it's ridiculous. It is. Yeah, it. it's fine, though. So, TNT, we, we keep talking about the rap in between uh, in between things. So, so I want you to talk about this. Motivation. There you go. <laughs> Just showing it off. Yeah. So, tell us about the raps. Melody's in All right, so, She's intrigued. So, check it. Uh, I have been pestering Jonas for a very long time, trying to get him to do a rap song with me. Well... Oh. Well, just recently, his uh, a friend of his who has a YouTube channel of his own where he does his own music got in contact. We actually did an interview some, similar to like this, that he just recently got into doing music, and me and Jonas actually made a, a single. <gasps> we did. We did. We, we a made single. a single. Amazing. <laughs> we made a single. And okay. it will be coming out very, very shortly. And I guess what uh, what I was getting around to, Melody, is I would like for you to maybe consider writing a verse, record the verse, <laughs> and for getting a in song? on and getting in on the next song that we have. That's yeah. hilarious! I will absolutely write a verse. I will not perform it. <laughs> would you? Would you, uh, would, you would, would, would you do the hook? Would you do like the hook for us? Like nothing? I, no. Yeah. I don't say okay. Sometimes for voiceovers, they make you sing, and I'm like, I'm yeah. not booking this role. I will. Oh wow, you're like cut it. But everybody's gonna cry when they hear it, and not because of. But rap isn't even isn't even singing. Rap is just you know rhythmic speaking, and that that should be your forte. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. Well, we'll consider, consider it. Consider. Keep it. Consider. Yeah. yeah. All we did is like, yeah, he, he sent us the, my buddy wrote the song and it's more of like a rock based rap. Like, cause I, he threw some guitar. It's like, uh, it, there's, it's like, it has a guitar in it and stuff. So it's not a typical like hip hop song. Um, mm -hmm. and then he, and then we just, we just, uh, did like five takes and then he, he kind of put it all, like, I'm just our microphones here. And then he overlaid it and did the editing and all Whatever, that. Whatever, man. Stuff. The shit is fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I put it, I put it down. Damn it. Jonas put it down. I have never rapped before, and uh, they, put they it seem down. to think it was all right. Yeah, it, it just sounds really good once you put a beat over it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll hit you up if if we get another song and you can consider it. We will not be offended if you decide that it's not worth your time, but we would love to have you on part of our verse. That's amazing. Thank you so much. For <laughs> She's like, I, yeah, thank you so much for so, that. So not, a, not a musical person. You don't play an instrument. I used to play piano a lot, actually. Okay, and see? I don't really like it anymore. No? Really? You just burn well, out on it? Expensive. Yeah. Well, when I was little, I like thought I was going to be a professional like pianist, so it was like all day. And then by the time I was 13, I was like, fuck this, I never want to touch a piano again. Um, was that you wanted to do it, or like your parents made you like do music, and then it... Yeah, like... it was one of those things where my mom was like, I always wish I had this opportunity when I was little, so... Mm. The typical, like, I wanted to do this, so I'm not going to make you do it. And you're like, oh, great. That's yeah. like my grandparents when I was little uh, got, like, a little kid set of golf clubs made. Like, just kind of like a, a driver, a, a couple irons, and a putter. And they would take me all the time. And I, they would take me so much. By the time I was, yeah, like, 13, I was like, I never want to golf again. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I, like, I never – it was like it, I felt like I had to go because they were golfers and I'd go stay at their house and they'd be like well we're going to the golf course you can play now and I'm like great <laughs> that sounds so much so fun thank you you never wanted to do it from the get go though it's obvious it's always going to hold keep put that bad taste in your mouth um yeah yeah but as know. I've gotten older and liked and started to enjoy music more I wish when I was a kid someone would have made me like play piano so I would at least have like the, the music meta in my brain and understand how it works. And people say if you learn piano, other instruments are easy from that point on because you understand scales and how and how things work because piano is kind of the base of everything in a way. Um, I don't know how true that is. Have you ever tried to pick up another instrument? Um, I had to play recorder in fourth grade. I did that, yes. 
Yes, Ode to Joy. I had that shit down. <laughs> I rocked that recorder, man. I was so good. I did play trumpet in fifth grade, and then I was oh. like, I was like, no, I played trumpet on that. I played trumpet for a little while too. Yeah, it. Uh... I would always get a lot of spit in my spit valve. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah, any of those uh uh brass instruments, you get, they have the spit valves and like it's just gross. And you're like up on the wooden stage and there's all that nice finish and everyone's just like letting their spit out. It's it's disgusting. Band wow. kids are gross. Are. You've heard the stories; they're all true. And <laughs> <laughs> but you get I to was... go to all the football games as a band though, because you have to go do uh, marching band. Oh, God, I love it. I, I never had to do in... that though. I was definitely in choir. I was in show choir. Man, I used to get solos in choir. Like, I don't want to turn this into oh, like boomer. Damn. I don't want to turn this into like boomer reminisces or anything. But... Oh, I love it. <laughs> really? Oh. Really? I was in choir in <laughs> seventh grade wow. and I almost failed because I was sick when we had a performance and like my mom wouldn't take me and the teacher was not happy about it he and like but uh there was a song about uh about moses we used to sing and i'm not a religious person but for some reason i still remember that song it was uh, uh and then there was another there, yeah moses now your people are free it's like i don't know it was it was weird it was a weird song i don't know it was a different time back then you know what i mean <laughs> free time. yeah we used to I praise really... jesus in, in in grade school all right like, yeah really, really. yeah have you um, said, have you ever said the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, I did. Um, and I went to a Montessori when I was little too. So like all we talked about was God. And my parents are Buddhist. Oh, wow. So they were like, what the fuck is this? But it was oh, like wow. a great education. So. Interesting. So, like, but, but aren't, are th those are private schools, right? Yeah. So like, but if they knew they did the, like the God thing and they weren't, and they were Buddhist, like why <laughs> the didn't they God find a different, thing. why didn't they do a yeah. different school? Um, it's because the education is so good. Like I was doing like oh. first through multiplication division like before first grade. Oh wow! Um, Holy shit! Yeah, no, it was like really, it was awesome. I honestly loved it, but they didn't like when we like would go on the altar and sing about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that if you're, yeah, yeah. But is that isn't that the type of school where you stay with the same teacher? Like, is that like the or like the same group of teachers throughout the whole like elementary experience? Is that kind of what it is? Yes. Well, the one that I went to, it was just like daycare through kindergarten. So it oh, okay. It was like pre pre like preschool yeah. almost in a way. Gotcha. That makes sense. Do they even teach kids cursive anymore? I no, no, I don't think so. no, I don't think so. I couldn't like how do they people learn how to sign their signature? You can. If they don't teach. Yeah, yeah, I mean, does that, actually, does anyone even like my signature exactly. is literally like. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So is that what time they tell kids? Like, they're like they, they're like seven, and they're like, "Here you go. Just pretend you're writing your name and write it in squiggles." And they're like, "I can do that." And they just practice the same squiggle every uh, every time. That's most likely. Yes. Um, I always hated cursive. I'm glad it's fell by the wayside. I don't know. Maybe they teach kids typing now. <laughs> in like in like elementary school, I don't know. Like they figure yeah. they teach them some sort of like how to use a keyboard. I don't yeah, know. Totally. I took cool. I, I took a typing class in high school specifically to learn how to like learn how to type. Like they had typing. It was the weirdest shit ever. I had that in elementary school. It was definitely crazy. I remember the first time I learned how to double click. It was on an Internet Explorer icon. And uh, when something popped up, I was like, this is insane to me. How is this happening <laughs> on a flat screen? Is that really <laughs> yeah, the world changed. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Like, yeah, they take you to go use the computers, and you're like, "This is the, this is the, this is the next level shit." <laughs> yeah. I love computer course, man. I remember that. I remember doing number munchers in Oregon Trail. Damn it! <laughs> oh, so you died of dysentery. That's the only thing yeah. I remember about Oregon. Yeah, I remember yeah. Oregon Trail. Yeah, it's it's uh it's nuts how like how things have uh floppy changed. disks. Flop, yeah, floppy. Yeah, see, disks. but it just turns it just turns into boomers reminiscent. Uh, <laughs> it really does. It back, really does. Back, back to your rap song. Back to the raps. Yeah. yeah so so if, if rap's not good enough, we can do rock music country. Oh. Nothing. All right. I'm not getting any reactions. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, this is what you guys plan to do, like, all on one. track. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it just it's just gonna be that hybrid from like hip hop to rock to death metal in there. I would no, do I a country know. song. I would do. I, I would. feel like country music is e is easy mode though, because all you gotta do is there's like certain things you gotta hit and you gotta hit a country song. Yeah. You talk about your dog, 
Uh, you talk about America. You talk about yeah. the love of your life, beer. What else? Yeah. What else? Yeah. Tequila. Yeah, <laughs> that that works. Uh, your yeah, your yeah, love of your life. Truck. Whether it whether it's going good or it's going bad. Yeah, your oh. yeah, your, your your truck. Yeah. Your yeah, animals. Yeah, yeah. Your dog. Like your dog's a big one. Your tractor. <laughs> yeah. Your dog, yeah, your, your tractor. tractor. <laughs> You hear the stereotypes coming from this diverse group. I love it, man. Everybody, everybody's got the same ideas. Yeah, like it. Uh, speaking of which, I'll, wait, I'm gonna. Are you gonna talk about the Trump? Are you gonna talk about the Trump supporters now? No, I'm not at all. Why do you always bring that up? So I went over this morning. Like, uh, at, we, there's like there's a hot tub at the pool over here, right? So I was like, oh, like I'll go over and drink my coffee and get in the hot tub early this morning. And it's, this is 10 o'clock in the morning. There's a guy laying over there sunbathing when there's no sun out, and he's literally listening to dance techno, like you would hear at the club. It's 10 a.m. He's laying there, like just on his on his stomach or whatever, and it's just like, boots, 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 boots. <laughs> and there's not really any words either. It's just and, and like I go I out, and I got there, and I'm trying to sit in the hot tub, and she's like, boots, 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 I can't boots, do that, no. And I was, and it would be like, oh yeah, it'd be like, you ready for it? <laughs> And it was just like, boom, boom. What, and then what does that music do for anybody? I don't know. And he's out there trying to relax in the sun, right? And then finally, I've been out there maybe like 10 minutes, and he's finally like, hey, bro, is this too loud for you? And I was like, like you're good, dude. I literally got in the hot tub and just started laughing because I was like, this is your morning? You're like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to take the club mix down by the pool. I'm going to get some <laughs> fucking rays. <laughs> get some rays. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, right. He's all hyped up, laying out by the pool. It was. I was just like, what the fuck is happening? And there was other people in the pool drinking at 10 a.m. Like they're already in the pool and they had uh, white claws. And I was like, <sighs> now my question was, was the party just getting started or was the party still going from last night? Because Ooh. at 10 a.m., white claws. That's, that's alcoholic territory. If you're drinking at eight o'clock, at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're. That's question. I mean, it is brunch time. It's an early brunch, but... Yeah, they did have... I wondered why they had eggs on a raft in the pool, and that really... No, they didn't, they didn't have the eggs on oh, the raft. Oh, deviled eggs sound good. Ew. <laughs> Gross, dude. I don't know why With white cloth. White cloth deviled <laughs> eggs? <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll run you to the grocery store if you want some deviled eggs, no, bro. I'm, I'm good. I'm anyways, good. so... Anyways, well, it's been a fun week with you, Melody. Thank you so much for joining us, as always. Uh, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Uh, but for Jonas. TNT. I'm Melody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.